And the skies have cleared for Sunday action. For Sunday hoops action at the SGS Stadium in Quezon City. The season comes to an end at today's back-to-back -back action between Air Trav and Go Up and Up. This is the battle for third place as both of these teams are looking to finish their season off with a victory. On call for today's game, I am Jason Almeida and joining me is Coach Edster. We'll be kicking it to Darwin to introduce the teams. Hi, thank you, thank you. the starters for Go Up and Up, we have number 4, Alan Tan, number 5, Brian Kalantok, number 12, Marlon Jeronimo, number 15, Cloyd Ong, and number 18, Charles Chua starting for Go Up and Up. And for Air Trav, we have Edwin Herrera at number 8, number 10, Jason Chua, number 14, Jason So, number 15, Francis C, and number 16, the captain, Dexter Kwan, starting out for them. As we get ready for tip-off here, we see Alan Tan. About to jump it off with the captain of Air Trav. Air Trav a full house today versus there's only being seventh in the semifinals game. It's game time. And the ball goes to the full house of Air Trav to start the game off. The key matchup for today, we have Dexter Kwan and Alan Tan, both providing the firepower for each of the teams that they have for this third place game. And that's the Don Reyes hardware key matchup of the game. 
Don Reyes Hardware, Muntin Lupa for your construction needs. It's Marlon Heronamot, tees up a three from the left wing, no good. And the ball stays with go up and up. That's what Alantan provides for go up and up, those offensive rebounds underneath. Absolutely, a strong rebounder there. It's Heronimo, looks to set up Ong. Heronimo tries again, this time steps in and gets the two-point shot to go, opening up the game for go up and up. The three-point shot is brought to us by Annabelle Heronimo from Marlon Heronimo. Swinging the ball up top here, goes to the captain, Dexter Kwan. Finds a man in the short corner, short shot. Need a little bit of warm up there, but an ill-advised rebound, and the ball will stay with air trap. Jason, those are the usual shot that Edwin Herrera makes. So he's uh, one of the shooters for air trap, and I'm sure he's he will get his game going a bit later. Yeah, just a short shot to start off the game. You know, a bit of warm up going on here. I think there are some technical issues that are being handled by our production team. Yes, we're going to have an official's timeout first. Official's timeout here. Yep. So what are these teams looking to do in this battle for third place here? We see AirTrav with a full house versus go up and up with fewer people as we go to the official's timeout and we'll take a break here. Romela, Romela, points I came Marlon Kadir. Thank you. 
players versus 11. Back to the action here in SGS Stadium in Quezon City for the third place game. Had some technical difficulties, so we had an official's timeout, but it's all been settled and we're going back to the action. Score is currently 2 0 for Go Up and Up. Fresh As face for Air Trav, it's Francis C. All the way from US Payan, uh, Jason Kaka Uilang from New York. Ayun, Air Trav has an import, no? <laughs> He'll go to a baseline out of bounds play. Gets it to Jason Saw. Finds a man in the wing looking to set up the big. Posting up here. Strong move to the basket. Can he get it to go? Fires it strong. Okay, now set up with it. Young go up and up. Marlon Geronimo, who just had the ball. He had the first point for them. You didn't catch that earlier. As go up and up, securing the rebounds early. Marlon Hironimo looks for another three. No good from the right wing. Two shooters are in for go up and up. We have Marlon Hironimo and Cloyd Ong. While uh, I think Airtra will go to their bigs as that's where their advantage is for this game. Definitely the height advantage there for Airtra. But the rebounds are coming in right now for go up and up. As they're going to push the tempo here. Fast break opportunity. Looks for a contact there, and the referee sees it. Good to see a show of sportsmanship there from Herrera on the foul. No one played for him there. Edwin tried to go for a swipe, as we could see in the replay. Medzo napa napa usog yung ulo eh, hitting the head of Brian Kalantok. No choice to foul there to stop the spin move. As Floyd <laughs> Wong! <laughs> that is kind Kind of a difficult shot, stop ball sa Ibaba for Cloyd Ong, uh, the three-point specialist for this league. He's been a strong scorer for them, especially in their last game against Chang Spa. Rebound goes to the captain, Kwan, and he'll convert on that play inside. He'll get the end one opportunity, the old-fashioned way. Dexter Kwan, the leaper in him is still there, going off for that offensive rebound. Galing sa Canada to during our high school days. Tapos bumalik sa Pilipinas sa Air Canada ang tawag sa ito. Uh, parang walang kupas yung laro. Just like uh, the name of the man whose shoes he is wearing is in the LeBron 20s here. Mm -hmm. Marlon Heronimo controls the ball. They're going to that free throw line action. They've been doing that high-low plays all throughout the tournament. Right now, Daniel Dagdag is not in the lineup, but usually he gets that uh, top of the key ball from go up and up. Yeah, but today it's Brian Kalantok who converts on that one. Ball sails out of bounds. Current score is 7 to 2 in favor of go up and up. 6.57 left in the game. Early substitution for Air Trav, their usual big, which is uh, Dr. Edwin Yap in the ball game now. Floyd Ong secures that rebound. And Heronimo is going to bring up the ball once again. Left wing goes to the low post. Ayun, that high-low action you were talking about. Ayun, it started uh, down low from Alan Tan, as we could see, and then uh, cut the dive by Brian Kalantok to get that N1. Brian Kalantok converting on that one, gets the score to 9 for go up and up. Current score is 9-2 with 6.41 left. 35 above division. Brian Kalantok is the youngest at 35. So, so yung, yung legs niya, Jason, and dyan pa talaga. The energy is out there today. It must have been inspired by watching some playoff basketball earlier. <laughs> and another score inside for Air Trav. Getting the score up to 4 for them. 10 to 4 cuts the lead down to 6 here. Going down low to Dr. Edwin Yap operating underneath. 
Nag warm up na si Geronimo. He gets a 3 to go. 4 to 13 here in the game. 6 minutes left in the first quarter. Stepping daw siya kanina. He made sure that he makes this 3 point shot. 5 points in the ball game now for Marlon Geronimo. And he has the green light here. But Chua tries to answer from the left wing. And he does. That's a 3 point shot there. And a timeout is called. Big J hitting that big 3 for Air Trav. Timeout is called. We'll be back for a break in the action here. friends and family in the audience today for this battle for a third place game. Mm -hmm. Go up and up, called a quick timeout here to settle the troops. They still lead by 6, 13 to 7, 5.55 left in this first quarter. Napakagandang uh, kumari kong si Mary Chris Lim supporting for Ron Lim here in the third place game. That high-low action working once again to perfection, extending the lead to 8 for go up and up. That's what Alan Tan can do for go up and up. He, he can hit the medium range shot. That's the reason why Air Trav was up in the defense, hitting Charles underneath for that high low play. And he's doing the damage from down low despite Air Trav having the height advantage in this matchup. Execution plays a good role for them, Jason. Absolutely, Coach Edsters. They're going to look to do damage from inside again, but the ball sails out of bounds. It will go back to Air Trav. Five minutes left in this first quarter. Seven to 15, still in favor of go up and up. As Jason saw, once again, looks to set the table for his team. Attacks on the left side, gets it to the free throw line. Wing three once again, can they get it? Air Trav scores another three, cutting the lead down to five. <laughs> I saw Cole, the coach of Air Trav waving pecs back to the bench as Edwin Herrera hits his first three pointer of the game. And an answer from mid-range there for Kalantok, getting the lead back up to seven for them. Back and forth we go in this offensive matchup. Both teams looking to create from the middle here. As Dexter Kwan goes to the right hand, just misses on that layup. Go ahead pass here now. And Alan scores on that one. Touchdown for Alan Tan and I could see Hershey Rabo. Clapping for his husband here live at SGS Stadium. And how could you not after a dynamic score there? A rare easy bucket from them so far in this close first quarter. From the same spot, Air Travel gets another three to go. And Pex again goes back to the bench as Edwin Herrera hits another three, a back-to-back -back three for him. Pex flexing the range there on that shot. And can go up and up, answer from the same spot, no. Hits the board there. At this point, Jason, you would want to go back to Edwin Herrera after hitting back-to-back -back shot. Absolutely, as he's been hot for them. And the ball is turned over. Calvin Ong sees the two-on-one. Is he going to pass the ball? He finds it's a three-on-one action, and the fast break score is done by go up and up. Great execution on that fast break. Sabi ga natin, kahit fast break yan, you have to execute well. And two, three passes before converting for go up and up. Uh, no, no, that was a great example of executing the simple plays on the fast break there, resulting in two points. Dexter Kwan can't convert on that free throw jumper. And Chua once again for three, no good. Another offensive rebound for Air Travel, and they will draw the foul here. Two shots at the line. Although, the isang kamay ni Charles nakataas, pero yung kabilang kamay nakatukod sa, sa, sa Bewang. That's why the, the foul was called against Charles. I believe a timeout is called. We'll be back after this break.
back with three minutes left in this first quarter. Go up and up with the early lead here. 21 to 13 as Airtrav is at the free throw line for two free throws. Now Airtrav has 16 players on their roster for today. Well, Go Up and Up has 11 players, and they have a key player missing, don't they, Coach Edster? Yes, so uh, Go Up and Up without Daniel Dagdag, they're big. Uh, in center nila sa gitna, which uh, gives them that uh, high, low play usually. And that's a big deal for them because that's where their advantage is, as no free throws are converted there. Go Up and Up is going to bring down the ball. Yeah, Brian Kalantok leading go up and up with seven points already. Once again, free throw line. Kalantok once again converting from there. That's what I want to see, K. Brian Kalantok. He's confident yeah, to hit those outside shots. Because during his high school, he plays them on 2-3. Eh. He, now he's forced to play number four because of the absence of Daniel Dagdag. As Chua can't convert on that one, Dexter Kwan. And Chua gets another offensive rebound, but no good. Can't convert there. Early 10-point lead here for Go Up and Up. And this game is presented to you by our title sponsor, Bounty Fresh. Gilbrine Barra, fresh from the bench. Checking his outside shooting there. Needs to get that warmed up a bit here. As Jason Stoss still in the game for them. Two minutes left to go. And an early 10-point lead for Go Up and Up. Can they cut into it on this possession? Jump shot from three, no good. Pressure defense, stopping the break. This is, him up. this is what go up and up needs to do. They have to, to up their tempo. Marlon Hieronima has the green light, but just a little wide on that shot. They reset here. Shot clock's at eight. And they find the cutting man inside once again. That high-low play coming in action. And the lead is already extended to 12 for Go Up and Up. Yeah, quick short passes for Go Up and Up. I think Airtrav acknowledges the outside shooting of Go Up and Up, extending their defense. But the high-low and the low dive is killing them right now. Yeah, and that in-between game from Kalantok as well has been really carving up the defense. Another three here for Airtrav. A bit of a cold streak for them. And Transition opportunity for air up and up. Three on one fast break. And the only way to stop it on that play is with a foul. 25 to 13 with less than a minute left in the game. Yes, three on one fast break. Play pushing the ball to the middle is Charles at extra pass. Choosing Gil Brian Barra on the left side. Foul there by Pex. Good recognition for them there to recognize the, number, the numbers game. And just as you said earlier. Execution was key for them. Three-man uh, substitution for air trap. Congressman Ronnie Ong, shooter Emer Emerson D, and Chip Chap Dong inside the ball game now for air trap. And go up and up converts on that first free throw to double the score, and they can get above double. But they missed on that opportunity. That's already the third team foul for air trap in this first period. I think that's the ECS rebound that Chip Chap Dong has to make during that free throw. But it's a good rebounder for air trap. Go up and up in a 2-3 zone. Let's see how effective it will be against this inside attack. And it's blocked! The interior defense, but not enough to stop the second effort. <laughs> Chip Chap Dong! With the offensive rebound and follow up, everyone is uh, you know, mga nicknames nila and moniker nila, and uh, they're, they're enjoying this game. The air trap team. A lot of friendship being shown here in a competitive battle for third place. Air travel can have the last possession here, but they tee up a shot, and the three pays off for them. Score at the end of the first quarter is 28 to 18 in favor of Go Up and Up, and we'll be back for the second period of action here in the Grace Alumni Basketball League. You see some plays here. The interior defense for them, 28 to 18 once again in favor of Go Up and Up. That high low action coming into play. These are some of the highlights during the first quarter, the execution for the fast break for Go Up and Up. Lots of transition buckets for them there. And this was the three to beat the buzzer here. With three seconds left on the clock, that was the last shot of the first period. Once again, score is 28 to 18. And we'll be taking a break. We'll be back for the second period.
And we're back for second period action here in the Grace Alumni Basketball League 2023. The battle for third place between Go Up and Up and Air Trav. Yes, Air Trav, the 48 above uh, team for the Grace Alumni, will be competing in the Tionglian uh, tournament this coming June. And they're warming up already in this league in the battle for third place. Dexter Kwan with a strong rebound there, and he's going to take down the ball himself. Yeah. Visibly not yet in the game is uh, Ron Lim, their primary point guard. That's for go up and up. And now Air Travel looking to cut into this lead by shooting a lot of threes, but no connection on that one. Emerson D is also one of the shooters for Air Travel. Emerson D, Edwin Herrera, Pex are big J. Those are their three-pointers for this team. So for coach, no, parang they're looking to get their three-point shot going and see si Dexter Kwan is looking to distribute for his team. Mm -hmm. Free throw line floater to beat the shot clock. It hits the rim, they'll get a reset here. 14 on the shot clock. Offensive rebound to si Dexter Kwan looking to set up his teammate. Finds mm -hmm. the man inside. Too aggressive on that play is Alan Tan. Like what we've always uh, mentioned sa mga players natin, pag pumalo ka, most likely matatawagan ka ng foul. And as you could see there, pag palo ni Alan Tan, the foul was called on him. Just beating the man to the spot as Dexter Kwan finds positioning inside and it's rejected. By Brian Kalantok. Great help defense there by Brian Kalantok. Nakaw play yun, no? from the baseline. Dexter was inbounding, pumasok agad sa loob. Open siya. We'll get another baseline out of bounds play. Ooh, tight bounce pass there, finds Dexter Kwan. But even tighter defense denies the shot. Fast break opportunity here. Go up and up. They've been executing well so far here. Mid-range jumper from the corner, and it's good! Lumipat na sa kabilang side itong si Gail Brian Barra. Was not able to make that shot on the left side. Went to the right side and makes that mid-range J. Counting adjustment lang. Tapos na yun, the score is 30 to 18. Double digit lead in favor of go up and up. Once again, those tight bounce passes inside. Finds the man inside, but the defense right there to deny. Ball stays with air trap. 1.3 on the shot clock here. They're going to need a quick shot. What can they come up with? He's going to need to pull it up here. Ball is turned over. It's stolen. Go up and up. Two on two fast break. Can they convert there? Sorry miss there for Patrick Lim, but uh, I like what, what go up and up and do, pushing the tempo. And this fast break is presented to you by our title sponsor, Bounty Fresh. Binalikan kagad sila ni Dexter Kwan, seeing that the defense is not yet there, going to the middle, doing what he does best, flying in the air for that N1 play for Dexter Kwan. And Dexter Kwan's offense definitely going to be key here for them today as he can cut the lead down to single digits. And he does at the free throw line. Lengthy wing kasi itong si Dexter Kwan. Jason, he could hit the mid-range. He could penetrate and get those rebounds for air travel. And as you said, see Air Canada still <laughs> showing the hops. That's Alan Tan going to the spin move inside and swishes that close jumper. That's 32 uh, to 21. That high low play, no, Jason? Very efficient for go up and up. And it's no wonder that they keep going to that play here. As Air Trav is going to go to a high low of their own. And once again, the ball is inside. And that ball is brought to you by our sponsor, Skills District. Congressman Ronnie Ong, up and down. Kumbaga, binomba pa in Tagalog word for that shot. And it's the man you were looking for earlier, Sir Ronald Lim. Inside pass, sails out. And Air Trav gets it. Once again, our uniforms are provided to you by our sponsor, Tenacity. Tenacity providing us the snazzy uniforms here for all our teams that we'll see in this third place and finals action that you can join us for later. Another three-point shot for Eritrav, but no good. Two on one fast break, can they recognize it? Great defense there by Dexter Kwan, not allowing that two on one break for go up and up to score. He didn't have the numbers name game there, but he generates a steal, and now it's a one-on-one -on -one fast break. Palantok, and it's cookies. It will go the other way oh. to Air Trap, and it's another turnover going back 
to go up and up. Nine point lead, 32 to 23. Six and a half left in our second quarter. Galing ng pagkakadukot doon, the pecs for that uh, steal. However, they committed that turnover. Sayang yung possession, Jason. The ball ricocheting all over the floor here at the SGS Stadium in Quezon City. That bounce pass once again stolen by Ertrav. Another great defensive effort there by Pex. That's two straight steals for Pex. Mm -hmm. Pex yan kasi magaling po Mekto siya. It's a fast break. Yeah. <laughs> Yun na talagang ginagawa niyan. But now he's uh, settling for his three-point shot. Si Coach Edster providing us the lore here. <laughs> the insider information on the team. And two bigs on the break. Can they stop them? I'm not sure why Brian is waiting no, sa labas for that fast break where he could go inside to receive that pass. And once again, we'd like to remind our fans watching at home that this game is brought to us by another one of our sponsors, Chusara. 32 to 23 here yeah. in this game. Hainanese white chicken, favorite ko yan sa Chusara. Oh, I just had lunch, but I'm getting hungry again just thinking <laughs> about it. As a tight pass is turned over, and it's another transition opportunity here. That's a, that's the fourth time that go up and up. Na tumakbo sila at the fourth chance they were able to convert. Kanina, three chances, fast break. They were not able to convert. Ngayon, fourth time is a charm for them. And the, and the lead is extended to 11, 34 to 23. We'll be back after this break for the timeout. Balik na po tayo sa action dito sa second period of the Grace Alumni Basketball League. This match is between Go Up and Up and Air Trav for the battle for third place. Go Up and Up still leads 34-23. Yeah. Dennis, you inside the game now. Expect ko yan, medium range shot. Uh, titira yan and uh, one of the efficient medium range shooter for Air Trav. Better the difficulty there will be getting the ball inside so that he can go to that in-between game as go up and up is showing their tenacity on defense. Ball sails out of bounds on the baseline there. Seven seconds of the shot clock, five minutes left to go in the second period. Again, we'd like to thank Bounty Fresh, our title sponsor for the Grace Alumni Basketball League. Jason So with the free throw line jumper gets it up before the shot clock expires, but can't convert. Wing three here, and it converts for home, extending the lead to the largest of the game. 14 points now, 37 to 23. Like what we've mentioned a while ago, Jason, go up and up. There's a uh, Karamihan shooters, Cloyd Ong, Pat Lim, Ron Lim, Marlon Jeronimo. That's why Air Travis is extending their defense, but still, Cloyd Ong gets his three to go. Maganda yung ginagawa nila, yung inside-outside game nila has proven very effective here, and you have to give the credit to the players. As another three is teed up for go up and up, but no good on that one. Half court set here, air trav all in the back court, and we'd like to thank another one of our sponsors, Mandarin Sky Seafood Restaurant. Ball swinging around here for air trav. Gets the entry pass to the free throw line, and it's an easy one for air trav. Two more points on the board, 37 to 25. Edong Chip Chap Dong, who is an inside operator, hitting that outside shot for Air Trav. And just like you said a while ago, Coach Edson, ayan na yung mid range jump shot. But it's answered on the other end by Alan Tan. Oh, pinakabalakas sa pumalakpak again dito sa SGS Stadium is Hershey Rabo supporting his husband, Alan Tan. And he's putting on a show for us here. 
on the defensive and the offensive end. That's a three-point shot converted for air trap there. Yes, Emerson Diaz, sabi niya, Coach Edster, shooter bang pinag-uusapan niyo dyan? Huwag mong kakalimutan, Emerson D is the name. And we'd also like to take another one for the Max Steele. As another three was converted, back-to-back -back threes by Airtrap, cutting the lead down to single digits, eight-point lead na lang, 39 to 31. Edson D showing his range on that one. That was the first three to get this run going. It was back-to-back -back threes here as Jason saw hits that one from the right wing. We'll be back after this time outbreak. for this second period action. Battle for third place between Go Up and Up and Air Trav. 39 to 31 is our score. Air Trav cutting down the lead from 14 after back-to-back -back triples from Edson D and Jason So. And now they're going to look to intensify their defensive effort, pressing a bit here on Go Up and Up. Air Trav, you could see, no? Re mas relax sila ngayon. They're letting the game flow for them, hitting their outside shots there. As Pat Lim checks into the game, he had a good opportunity there, but can't convert on his first jump shot attempt. Pat Lim, making his presence felt, gets the rebound there, and they're pushing on the floor here. Brian Kalantok, right hand finish, and he gets it to go, extending the lead back to double digits. Two and a half left in the second quarter. Number one assist leader of our tournament, Ron Lim, finding Brian Kalantok on that fast break play. And once again, good simple execution on that play, leading to two more points. Short jumper, he had some space there, but no good. And a foul is called on Air Trav. Duty, duty foul there by Chester. So the veteran in him, knowing na, uy, tinatakbuhan na tayo ng go up and up. Maganda doon is hindi natawagan ng... Uh, ng uh, advantage foul or unsportsmanlike foul. That's a good foul given by Chester So. Tama. Good heads up play for Chester So to stop the fast break opportunity where Go Up and Up has been feasting throughout the first half of this game. Mm -hmm. You could see the extended defense there by Go Up and Up. Talagang may respeto sa outside shoot. Ah, sorry, ng air trap. May respeto sa outside shooting ng Go Up and Up. And Ron Lim gets his own rebound, pero can't get that one to go. Chester Soul will bring down the ball for Airtrap. They can cut it back down to single digits here. Alan Tan and Brian Kalantok, the leaders for scoring for go up and up with 12 and 11 points respectively. Chester Soul trying to make his presence felt early, but it's another transition opportunity here. Alan Tan going to the inside shot and finishes with the lefty layup, 43 to 31. Lamang na naman po ang go up and up. That assist again, courtesy of Ronald Allen Lim. As the big man C is back into the game for them, and he gets that one to go. Welcome back, Francis C. And the former Mapua Red Robin. He was not there for them in their last game, but his presence is felt here. As Brian Kalantok answers that shot with one of his own, extending the lead to 12. Tama, wala si Francis C kasi nasa ano pa, nasa US pa siya. Again, sometimes we have this uh, lull or technical break. We have full production for Grace Alumni Basketball League. Pag nandito kayo sa ano, you would appreciate the kind of can, uh, scoreboard that we have brought to us by Cantigo Sports. So yeah, Definitely helpful for everyone here and we'd like to thank our production team for making this job so easy for us Deba Coach Edson oh, oh. we have uh, full production here executive producer Coach Willie Chad and of course our acting director the veteran director that he is uh, Basasa Sports Francis Opilio and 
and will resume the second period here. Shot clock 14 seconds. 13 seconds on the shot clock as announced by our game announcer, Darwin. Less than a minute remains here in the first half. Low post kicks it out. Jason saw he had one earlier. But the hot hand cooling down a bit here. 12 point lead remains for go up and up. Got the shuffle passes the uh, air trap. Two there. for one opportunity here if they can manage the clock correctly. As Clyde Ong misses on that one. 30 seconds left to go in the first half here. Ball is being pushed by Air Trav. Jason So looking for a man. Si Francis C gets the hard there. And he'll go for two free throws. His presence being felt early in this game as soon as he checked back in. Let's look at that action once again. Francis C going to the low post and they, he has to get hacked there by Ronald Lim. So, alam ni Ron Lim na may advantage, height advantage si Francis there. Di niya na binump eh. Tried to go for that steal. Unfortunately, hitting the arm of Francis C. But a wise decision to send him to the line. But Francis C making him pay so far, hitting the first one. Again, that's uh, Hershey Rabotan, the beautiful wife of uh, Alan Anson Tan, supporting here at SGS Stadium. And we love the support of family members here. Chester Saul gets the offensive rebound, can't convert on the corner jumper. 14 seconds, Jason. Last uh, shot for go up and up. And they can hold for the last shot here, but Patrick Lim looking to be aggressive and he draws the foul. Eight seconds left to go here, and Patrick Lim is looking to get his first two shots at the line. He was aggressive there. We were talking about having that last shot, no, Jason? But uh, the moment he received the counter kagad sa baseline to si Patrick Lim going to the basket, and getting fouled. Um, he had other plans, but he must have seen the opportunity here, and they had to foul him to stop the basket, although he can't convert on that first free throw. What should Eritrav look to do with eight seconds on the clock? Uh, I think they have to push the ball, find find their big man underneath Kaagad, or Jason Saw would be taking that three-point attempt. Jason Saw finds a teammate here, fake. Can he get the shot up in time? And it's a buzzer beater there! <laughs> That was number 13, Dennis Yu, who beat the buzzer for them, cutting the lead down to single digits. Nine point lead, then ang, ang go up and up. Let's see that one again. Hands in the air, low shot, and it gets it to go. Rims right in. 45 to 36, still in favor of go up and up, and we're still going back and forth here in first half competition, and we'll be back for halftime. Once again, the score correction is 46 to 36, still a 10 point lead for go up and up in the Bounty Fresh Grace Alumni Basketball League 2023. And we'll be back for this halftime break.
And we're back for second half action here. 46 to 36. Go up and up continues to lead as we're about to begin the second half. Coach Edster, what can you tell me has been the key for go up and up? Uh, let's uh, look first here at the highlights, halftime highlights, Jason. Go up and up going there, the high-low play that's been working for them all throughout the game. For Jason, ito, no? outside shooting of uh, Air Trav has been clicking. Ginantihan naman sila ng go up and up ng mga fast break plays nila, Jason. We can see si Dexter Kwan. How has he been playing for Air Trav in this game? Cloyd Ong, also their three-point specialist hitting their three points. Uh, and sabi nga natin, yung fast break plays. Pagpasok ni Ron Lim, facilitating. At ito yun, buzzer beater of Dennis Hughes. So twice na already, Jason, that they have beaten the buzzer in this ball game. So ha go ahead, Jason. Halftime stats here. 20 of 32. From the field, you can go up and up. Their shooting has definitely been key for them so far. Yeah, 43 attempts for Air Trap, 14 of 43. Simple, uh, really, because of their 13 offensive rebound against two for go up and up. And the assist naman for go up and up, 18 to 8. We could see yung, uh, short passes ng go up and up. Ang taas ng respeto ng Air Trav sa outside shooting ng uh, go up and up. That's the reason why. They are able to swing the ball from one side to the other and able to hit that uh, high-low plays for go up and up. Grabe yun, a 10 assist advantage for them. As we see, the journey our teams took to get here is the Vicon Builders uh, defeated Air Trav and they will proceed to the championship game with Chang Spa. Exactly, that's an exciting uh, championship game that we will witness after this third place game. Edwin Lee sets the ball up. Dexter Kwan once again looking to create from the free throw line. Gets the offensive rebound. A lot of oh. offensive rebounds here for Air Trap. <laughs> A rare offensive rebound there by Edwin Herrera. So everyone's really getting that offensive rebound. Ramdam siguro nila Jason that uh, go up and up is a much smaller lineup than them. And in 13 2 advantage offensive rebound. Even Edwin Herrera, you know. Grimo, bumalik yung 10 years younger yung feet doon with that offensive rebound and follow up. He sealed him off on that play there mm -hmm. and he got the layup to go. Fast break opportunity here. Ooh. <laughs> the ball sails out of bounds. Para nagkahiyaan sila sa bola doon eh, no? Knockout play there by go up and up. Yes, yes, sabi sa baseline, Jason. Kailangan abangan yun na ganun. Nag-inbound sa baseline. Pag pumasok, ang lapit na niyan sa ring eh. Sneaky cut right there. Gets them the bucket. Eritrav sets up. Edwin Lee going to work in the corners. Jason Saw sets it up again. Finds Lee. Tees up another three. No good there. Ball sails out of bounds. Balik kay go up and up. Good find by Jason Soto, Emerson D on that uh, open three-point shot. Yun lang, hindi pumasok for Emerson. And it's still a nine-point lead here as Go Up and Up has a chance to extend the lead. Foul is called there on Lee. Eight and a half left in the game, 47 to 38 in favor of Go Up and Up. Coach uh, Albert going for a man-to-man -man defense. Uh, they come to realize that, teka lang. Na titiran tayo sa labas, nagkakaroon sa ng high low play. Let's go to man to man, try to see if it would be efficient for us. And it's a timely adjustment here in the second half of their final game of the season. Alan Tan, who's been effective in the first half, misses on that play. Good rebound there by Jason Saw. Jason Saw is left wide oh. open for three, and he swishes it right in the face of Floyd Ong. Sabi ni Jason, so ayun niyo ba akong lapitan? Ha? Eto, baka mag-isipan niyo na akong lapitan mamaya. And he makes them pay on that play. Cutting the lead down to six. Ito si Alan Tan looking for his offense once again. Floats in the air. Gets his own rebound. And he's blocked. Herrera comes away with the block there. Yes, that up and under move of Alan Tan. So, so far, Jason, yung man-to-man uh, -man defense of air travel working for them. 
good adjustment made there by Air Travis. They look to come back into this game. Napaaga yung tira doon ni Brian Kalantok thinking that the shot clock is winding down. He had a little space there, pero siguro he's been bothered by the defense here. They had a hard time getting it to him. New look para sa kanila, yung man-to-man na yan eh. Cross-court pass from Herrera. Goes back to So. Dexter Kwan looking to create from the free throw line again. Jason So, is he feeling it? Shot clock running down. Rebound by Go up and up. So I think that is the instruction right now. Wag nating hayaang makatakbo ang go up and up. Marami naman tayo sa lineup. Like what you've mentioned, 16 naman sila. So why not give up a foul kesa naman mag-fast break ang go up and up. And the adjustments proving effective so far in the scoreboard. 47-41 ang score natin. Seven minutes left to go here in the seventh, in the third quarter. Over three defenders, Jason. Alan Tan was able to get that one to go for him. Pero medyo parang nasaktan ng konti, eh, no? Grabe yun. Herrera helps him up there, but what a strong move by Alan Tan to get that bucket. That much needed the uh, two points by go up and up. Ball moving around here for Air Trav. That jumper no good there. Geronimo has been looking for a shot in the first half. He's distributing here. We want to see go up and up. Kai Papano give each other some screens, whether on ball or off the ball. Nasanay sila sa zona na dipensa ng air trap that they're just shuffling the ball around. But at this time, na nakamanto man ng air trap, kailangan they have to give screens to each other. Tama, they gotta do the work before getting the ball at this point. Pag nakamanto man, you give screens, nakakaroon ng confusion yung defense. Eh. So that's what they need to do. Patrick Lim looking to be aggressive once again. They're a little too strong on that jump shot. Good box out there by Emerson D. Air Trap have stepped it up here in the second half. Jason Saw so looking for a teammate. Once again, 4-3. Jason Saw so hits the back rim on that one, but Juan gets the rebound. Free throw jumper, no good. Lim recognizes the man under. But he can't convert. See with a strong move, who can stop him? Wise move there by Francis. See, alam naman niya meron siyang hat ad, uh, height advantage. Gina handahan na lang niya si Ron Lim. Francis C. And he's answered by Brian Kalantok. Good medium range shot there by Brian Kalantok. Like what I've mentioned, yun yung. Strength naman niya during his high school days and uh, he's been maximizing it right now. The bucket is answered there. 51 to 43 in favor pa rin of go, in, of go up and up. Lee tries to get one from the outside. Patrick C once again showing his power inside and drawing the foul there for two more free throws. The offensive rebounding for Air Trav has been giving them numerous numerous possession, Jason. No? Gadala na lang uh, first defense ng go up and up, but they cannot control the defensive board. Eh? It's good recognition by Air Trav there to get their strength, their literal strength in Patrick C. Another offensive option for Air Trav is Bonnie. Uh, Three and four ang laro na meron magandang medium range. It's also in the game right now. Maganda rito, Jason. Air Trav, kalat yung scoring. Almost everyone scored already for them. And uh, yun, yung, ano, yun yung napapakita nila sa laro ito. Um, it's very hard to plan for a defense when the scoring is so balanced. It speaks to Air Trav's teamwork here. Palantok looking for position inside as the smaller D. Lee rather fouls him. That's a one good adjustment that uh, go up and up is uh, going to do. Find where the advantage is. And a while ago, it was Kalantok against Emerson D on the defensive play. And we'll reset on that play. That's already the third team foul for Air Trap with four and a half left in this third period. As Patrick Lim goes down there, he's helped up by Pex. 
Yeah, good cut there by Patrick Lim. And again, Ron Lim being the number one assist later, finding that cutting Patrick Lim. And so, yung momentum lang ni Pex na punta kay Pat, kaya natawagan ng foul. A bit out of control there. And now, advantage for go up and up, as that's already the fourth team foul kay Air Travel. The patience of Ron Lim to find an open man. Yan, five seconds eh. Matagal naman yan, no, Jason? And there were so many movements that were going around for go up and up, pero patiently waited for that cut of Alan Tan. The patience and the vision paying off there, and it's two free throws for Alan Lim. We have more, more fans, uh, families, and friends Coming over here at SGS Stadium, going to support the games that we're going to have today. Galing ng cameraman natin to spot all our fans here at SGS Stadium. Commendable work for all our cameramen here. As Alan Tan sinks those from the line, nine point lead on go up and up. Hindi ma break ng ano, no? Nung, uh, air trav lower that lead, but Jason saw. Off the board, Jason. Ayun, he gets another J to go there. Cutting the lead down to six. It's getting close here. They need to break it below five. So far, hindi pa nagagawa yun. Nice fake. Pero sayang. Ah! Patrick Lim, relentless on the attack here, knowing that Airtrav is in the penalty situation. Pero hindi niya, hindi siya dapat ma-frustrate. Those are good cuts, good, good rebound. Those are the kind of shots that he can make. Kailangan konti pa, konting kumpiyansa pa that he will make those shots. As Jason saw, looks just at the table. He's been hot in this quarter. Most of the free throw line. He's left wide open. Jason saw, can he make them pay? Rims out there. Transition game agad for go up and up. Unselfish play by Ron Lim. He usually takes those uh, fast break attempts but decided to pass. And this is the Maxi Air three point shot from Jason Saul. Yeah, Maxi Air, Air Con. Uh, thank you, Sating uh, sponsor for Maxi Air Air Conditioning, si Maring Faye. Go. And now, see Brian Kalantok is at the line for two. Miss on the first one. Ayan na, ayan na ang ating mga Mrs. Universe. And of course, uh, the kids here having fun. Oh, tinan mo, nandun ako sa TV. Oh, because we have a big screen here, Jason, inside the SJS Stadium. It's good for the families to show their support here in this third place game. The battle continuing here on the side of Airtrav. They go to the man down low. Fakes the jumper. Pex handling the ball, aggressive defense there. And Clyde Ong will pick up the foul. Saya, no? three seconds remaining in their shot clock. Napasundut pa si Cloyd. So, missed, uh, missed chance there to force a turnover. Defense couldn't reward itself there, pero they will get the ball back. Uh, Jason, so, akala, 3.2 seconds na lang. Eh? But, uh, merong foul, nag reset to uh, 14 seconds. And Clyde Ong will look to steal up a three of his own, but short on that one. Jason saw barking orders to his teammates here. Di pa rin number break yung yung ano yung lower than five. Now it's just seven point lead. That's a violation here. We'll go the other way on that turnover. Brian Kalantok and Alatan still leading the way for go up and up. Two and a half left in this third period, 54 to 47. Still in favor of go up and up. As Airtrav is cutting into this lead. Big J missing that three point attempt. And syempre, pag long range yung mismo, long rebound, but uh, go up and up was not able to maximize that fast break play. Excellent discipline there from Airtrav, all getting back on defense, resulting in that stop. Tama. Apat kagad yun sa defense. They're recognizing that uh, they're running, you know? And this is the smallest lead of the third quarter as it's cut into by Airtrav. 54 to 49 along with two minutes left in the third period. 
Ganda ng uh, medium range shot by Dr. Edwin Yap. He has that shot. May soft touch siya dyan talaga. And uh, the more he recognizes that he is open, the more he's going to get those scores for air trap. And how timely na. Minute na siya dito sa second half. Mm -hmm. The five-point lead na lang yan. The foul was called sa baba, but uh, penalty na ang air trap. So it's still two shot for Ronald Allen Lim. Those free throws really keeping go up and up in this game as Air Trav has been making a run to come back. Exactly, Jason. And uh, maganda naman a percentage so far na go up and up here sa free throw line. Si Ronald Lim converts on that one. Two for two at the line. 56 to 49 yung score natin. Sabi ko nga sa mga participant natin dito, ingit na ingit ako, larong laro din ako rito. Eh, no? But uh, again, we thank Bounty Fresh for their support na maibalik natin ang Grace Alumni Basketball League. It's good to have basketball back here. As that three is offline, Dexter Kwan secures the offensive rebound. Four seconds left to go on the shot clock. Chua needs to put up a shot here. No reset. 14 on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. Air Trav can reset. <laughs> and it's that short jumper you were talking about, Coach. Exactly. Oh, and si Edwin Yap, naging teammate naman din natin yan. Alam natin yung laro niya. He could make those shots. He has a good, soft touch, and uh, I'm happy to see him taking a gun. Yung shot na yon. Back to back for Edwin Yap. And Air Trav are only within five with a minute left in this third quarter. They can cut it down to a one possession game with a basket on this possession as they roll out the ball here. Exactly, Jason. And they've been executing uh, very well in this third quarter. Jason Saw looking for the three and he gets it. Two point lead na lang ang go up and up as Air Trav are coming in hot and heavy here in this third period with a run. Exactly. That patient execution, the three points that are going down for Air Trav, especially coming from Jason Saw. Brian Kalantok throwing that no look pass. Ang ganda ng pasa. Unfortunately for Pat Lim, was not able to catch that ball, but that was a good cut. Good recognition from Brian Kalantok. It could have given them an extra four-point lead. And as you mentioned earlier, si Patrick Lim really doing a good job cutting there and finding good opportunities. Mm -hmm. So let's see where they will be going right now. Two-for-one opportunity if they get a quick shot. Unforced turnover there by Emerson D. Nag hesitate if he's going down low, you know? It was an unwise foul there to stop the break. 26.1 left in this third period. And since penalty situation na ang air trap, that will be two more free throws for Ron Lim. Exactly. And, uh, siguro, again, like what we've mentioned a while ago, ayaw na nila na yung fast break na go, out, go up and up to get that, that fast break going for, for go up and up. So they're giving up duty fouls. So for go up and up, they have to make their free throws naman. So they have to make them pay for fouling them here and take advantage of their penalty situation. So Ron Lim converts one of two. Three-point game lang. 26.1. One point guard that Air Trav is missing, I'm sure, is Jonathan Yu. Uh, that's uh, the playmaker for Air Trav, which is uh, not here right now. But a full house pa rin yung Air Trav. Once again, if you guys weren't here earlier, mm -hmm. mentioned na 16 ang players ng Air Trav for today's game versus the seven players they had in their previous match. Yeah, out of that 16 players, only two players have not yet scored for air travel. Balance scoring here as go up and up is going to try to extend their lead. Six seconds left. They need a quick shot here. Ron Lim sees the clock. Are we going to see another buzzer beater for the third quarter? No good! 57-54 is our third quarter score. Go up and up still leads despite the run from Air Trav as we see some highlights from that third quarter. A nice baseline cut. Gets them the bucket. Yan yung over three defenders, eh, no? Alantan. And here's si Patrick C. Naman showing the power to get that layup. Jason So has been calling his own number from the three point line. It's been effective for Air Trav. 57 to 54. Go up and up. Still continues to lead despite the run from Air Trap. And we will be back for the fourth quarter of this best of this game for fighting.
fourth quarter action. Set to resume na dito sa SGS Stadium in Quezon City. This is the battle for third place. As Cloyd Ong is going to take the ball out. Tight pressure defense here from Air Trav as they look to make a run in the second half. Yeah, the shooters for go up and up need to get going. Alantan and Brian Kalantok doing the damage. 18 points each. But the outside sniping of go up and up needs to click in this quarter. Grabe, bullet pass to Patrick C. Who once again draws the foul inside. Yeah, great recognition. Edwin Herrera seeing the advantage underneath. Okay, Francis C. And Francis, he knows what to do down low. He goes to the basket strong. Fishing that foul. So Francis C has been effective for them getting to the line here as we see the crowd in attendance once again. It was a SGS Stadium. Two out of two for uh, Francis C. Clutch free throws there to start the fourth quarter. Maganda yung pagiging advantage si Coach Albert doon sa, ano, sa pag change na defense so man to man, no, Jason. That adjustment has been effective as Ron Lim tries to get to the basket there. No good. Ganda ng post play to ni Ron Lim but was not able to convert on that uh, shot. And the story of the game here. Remember, Airtrav was down as many as 14 points in this game. As there was a collision there. Francis C. Slow to get up. Go up and up. Can they take advantage here? Two on two lang yung fast break. Ron Lim. Get some contact, can't finish there. And Kalantok draws the foul. Mm -hmm. He'll go to the line for two. Good defense, huh? transition defense, air trap. Magandang dini defense nila sa, sa fast rate ng go up and up. Go up and up cannot get their momentum already compared to the first half na in fast break ni play nila tuloy tuloy. Grabe, effective talaga yung adjustments na ginawa dito sa second half. Exactly. Good adjustment there by Coach Albert. And of course, one of my favorite coaches, Coach Ben Ong, one of the best shooters ng uh, Grace alumni, sitting on the bench also for Air Trav. As Kalantok can put them up by three if he converts on this free throw. 8.45 left in this fourth period. Yun na. Yun na, Jason, yung sinasabi natin, no? Your free throws will be very, very important in the fourth quarter and go up and up has been missing them. And my apologies there. I must have done the announcer's jinx. <laughs> Ron Lim brings down the ball. Alan Tan streaking to the basket, completes the end one play, puts them up by four. Two possession game na po. Go up and up, leads. Yun yung sinasabi natin kanina. Kanina, they were giving duty fouls even before go up and up goes to the basket. But at this point, they allowed Alan Tan to create that space and get that N1 and, and a four-point lead for them. And good recognition there by his teammate Ron Lim to see Alan Tan streaking down. Gives him that pass. He's rewarded with the assist. And Alan Tan can convert on this one. But he doesn't. And the lead stays at four for go up and up. Oh, ilang free throws na rin yan ng mimis nila ngayon na fourth quarter. In the very important yan, in the critical stages of this game. Interesting defensive strategy here for Airtaf. Really challenging Jason So to shoot. That's ito na naman, semi secondary break for go up and up. And the, that, that's what they need to do. Talaga push that ball and try to get that early score for them. Grabe si Alan Tan. What a relentless finisher. He went up there with the left hand. They had no choice but to foul him on that play. Mm -hmm. And todo talaga ang uh, supporter rito ni, ni Hershey. Ibang palakpak naman yung binigay ni Hershey. Ron. Palakpak na sayang, Mintis. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Commissioner Boy De Vera and our executive producer, Willie Chan. Matagal-tagal yung pinagsamahan natin dyan as early as JRU Light Bomber sta uh, stages ng player natin sila Keith Agobida and Louis Vigil. The ball almost mishandled and thrown away by Air Trav there. But possession maintains. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Finds the man down low. What a cross-court pass there. Good recognition that uh, Pex was free underneath. 
So Siron Lim showing off his vision. Finds Alantan once again, but it's blocked. Dexter Kwan finds a teammate in front, and it's Pex finishing on the left side. That's patch 1992 connection. Dexter Kwan to Andrew Ko. The rare fast break play for them. Showing off the teammate, the teamwork there. Alantan on a relentless attack, but it's swatted away by Dexter Kwan. Finds another outlet pass. And that connection is disrupted by Patrick Lim on that foul. Mm -hmm. Holding foul there. Pushing foul okay, Patrick Lim. But again, that connection that you were mentioning. Bagkabats, Dexter Kwan to Andrew Ko with that fast break. Eh, alam na alam ni Andrew Ko gawin yan sa fast break. Three point game with seven minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. We have a timeout break and we'll be back. Fourth quarter is going to resume. It's winning time here. And don't forget to tune in later for our finals matchup between the Vicon Builders and Chang Spa. Yeah, magandang uh, laban yan. No? So we, have, we have the two top uh, teams here sa GABL. And magandang laban din dito for the third place game between Go Up and Up and Air Trav. Three point game na lang. Go up and up, still leads by three. Seven minutes left in this fourth quarter. This game will decide the winner of third place in the Bounty Fresh Grace Alumni Basketball League. Like what you've mentioned, Jason, they're challenging Jason Saw on top. Talagang yung respeto sa ilalim na defense ang go, and go up and up. Alam nila, they're under height. Kaya ino-open nila yung outside shot for air trap. That's the reasoning there. Despite Jason Saw's good shooting, they want to play to their advantage here. Mm -hmm. And Air and Go Up and Up still maintains the lead. Kalantok has been aggressive so far. And we have another official's time out here. A bit of break in the action, Muna. Mm -hmm. I think the, the shot clock did not move at that time. Yeah, tayo ni Karon ng uh, officials timeout, but it's uh, good to go already. So, pinatawag na ng referee ng ating mga players to go back in the hard court. What a luxury here to be supported by our production team, making sure that we can continue this game in a timely fashion. Mm, at saka, ang ganda ng mga kuha. Tingnan mo naman, naman yan. Kaya sabi ko nga eh, naiingit ako eh. Hindi ako nakasali dito sa ating tournament. Full production, full support, and uh, we cannot get this going without the help of our alumnus from Bounty Fresh. As Alan Tan has been aggressive this whole time and he powers to the basket on that cut. Cut and extends the lead to 5, 63 to 58. Six and a half left. You know, man, kailangan gawin ng uh, air trap to shut down Alan Tan. He's been doing the damages against them. Edwin Yap once again looking to a short jumper and he converts there, answering that play. One possession game ulit. Three points lang ang lamang ng go up and up. Rejects the screen there. Brian Kalantok finds Clyde Ong. Tees up a three. Swishes it. And that's what Cloyd Ong and Marlon Heronimo needs to do for go up and up. They have to hit that outside shot. Para hindi la naka concentrate kay Alan Tan, yung depensa. And in timely fashion here, fourth quarter, it's winning time. Less than six minutes left to go. Can they answer with a three from the corner? No good. Kalantok secures the rebound. Clyde Ong will bring down the ball. That's a good rebound for go up and up. Kasi kadalasa mayro offensive rebound ng air travel. Eh. Brian Kalantok airballs that one, pero that free throw jumper has been his bread and butter in the first half. Tama. The effort of Alan Anson Tan to even try to chase the ball just on baseline to give that additional possession. Eh. Siyempre, all out effort na sila. This is the final game of the season. They want to end it with a victory here. Yes, iba pa rin. Third place trophy pa rin yan. Uh, bragging rights pa rin 
sa pagbabalik ng ating Grace Alumni Basketball League. And this Grace Alumni Basketball League is presented to you by our title sponsor, sponsor Bounty Fresh. Jason Sok can't convert on that one. But Dexter Kwan, the captain, offensive rebound, pero no good sa putback. Advantage talaga ng air travel, yung offensive rebounding. Makontrol lang na ng go up and up ang defensive rebound. I think they're going to win this one. And they're going to their key player, Alan Tan. Finds Clyde Ong again. Clyde Ong just rims out on that three. For air travel, the man, they're shutting down Alan Tan. And that's the key for them to win in this ball game so far. Absolutely, yes. Dexter Kwan looking for his offense there, but he draws the foul. 66 to 60 is our score. 440 left in the fourth quarter. Ito yung sinasabi natin, pag tumapik ka, minsan kahit hindi mo tamaan, pag nakita ng referee, yan humataw ka. Well, so more percentage that a foul will be called against you. So good recognition there from Dexter Kwan. Deer in the headlights moment, nakita niya, uy, bukas yung loob. Mm -hmm. Papasok na ako dito. Dexter Kwan is uh, already in the is a rebounding. Yeah, more than 10 rebounds already for him. And he's been looking to do it all. Distribute, rebound, and even score for this air travel team. Mm -hmm. Helping spark this run. And he converts two of two free throws there. Crucial in this late ball game. 66 to 62. Four and a half left in the fourth quarter. Alan Tan looking to be aggressive again, but the defense able to stop him there. Mm -hmm. They're putting their body on the line to secure the third place here. Mm -hmm. so, si Edong. Okay, with that, uh, he, he really tried to stop that uh, driving Alan Tan. And uh, yun nga yung key dito sa game na to. Air Trav needs to stop Alan Tan. While go go up and up, needs to try to control the defensive rebound for them to win this ball game. The tenacity there on defense, really giving the body to get that stop. And Alan Tan aggressive on the attack, but he was stopped there by Dexter Kwan. Mm -hmm. And our, of course, we have our resident doctor here. Completo tayo dito sa ating Grace Alumni Basketball League. A resident doctor going now there to uh, chip chop dong. Ayun, medyo nasa likod na siya pero del bumomba si Alan Tan, tinamaan siya doon sa, sa noo. Incidental contact naman. So everyone looks to be okay here as Air Trav looking to attack from the inside. No good. Hieronimo finds Kalantok. Aggressive on the attack once again, but he's fouled by Jason So. Oh, ang ganda talaga ng ginagawa ngayon ng air trap in terms of stopping the fast break play or go up and up. No, first half, hindi nila nagagawa yun eh. Ngayon, kung kailangan fumal, foul tayo kaysa naman mag, mag momentum ulit ang go up and up. In the foul situation, looking to come into play now here late in the fourth quarter. Penalty situation na for both teams. Ron Lim taking advantage there. He's been highly effective here in the second half. Oh, sa tagal natin kakilala tong si Ron Lim. Alam na natin, fake dot eh. That's his favorite move, that up and under pag naka back to the basket siya. And that's the scouting report there on Ron Lim. Ron Lim also getting the rebound there. Gets the hurt. And let's remember, penalty situation na ang air trap. Ron Lim, crucial. On that rebound, he got the bucket on the earlier one. And he'll go to the line for two. Mm -hmm. The big J tried to go after that ball and give that duty foul. Again, they know what to do on the defensive side. Ayaw nilang mag-fast break. Go up and up since uh, penalty ng air trap. They need to make this free throws for them. And this will be very key for them. Ron Lim. Sorry, na-jinx ko ulit. Oo, oh, sabi ni Mari Chris, ay, nako. Ay, nako, nako. Sa labas ka ng kwarto, matutulog mamaya. <laughs> ayan na, ayan na. Balik ka na sa kwarto mamaya. <laughs> 69 to 62 is our score here. Go up and up. Maintains their lead. Seven points. Air Trav, saving time on the clock by rolling the ball up. Three and a half left to go. Inside, outside passing. What a bounce pass. Finds the man inside. But too deep into the basket. Counter attack here by Go Up and Up. 
mo. Masyadong malalim na doon si Edwin Herrera. That was a good move, pero ayun, malalim. Too deep for him. Bumalik sa high-low action. Pero na-telegraph ni Dexter Kwan, who's going to go all the way for the right-hand layup. Brian Kalantok opting not to challenge that shot gives uh, Dexter Kwan a free lane. Siguro aware enough the foul situation here. Ooh. Marlon Geronimo, who was hot in that first half, tees up another three from the wing. No good. That's a crucial possession now for Go Up and Up, and also a crucial possession for Air Trav. Dexter Kwan looking to get more involved. He got the rebound there. He's setting the floor for them. Great defense by Go Up and Up. Now they're running three against two. Fast break execution once again. What a block there from Pex. Rejecting the shot. Alan Tan still looking to be aggressive. What defense to stay in front. The a relentless effort from Alan Tan to extend the lead to seven. The patience of Alan Tan, no, Jason. Sabi niya, nahirapan ako doon na, teka lang, dahan-dahanin natin, tutok na lang natin itong tira na to. Two minutes left in the fourth quarter. We'll be back after this break. And that timeout break was brought to you by our sponsor, Goodfellow. 71-64. Battle for third place game here. Air Trav trails by seven. And they are on the offense here. They have, to, they have to convert in this possession, Jason, with the time remaining two minutes na lang. This is absolutely crucial here. And what's also crucial is that foul given up in the penalty situation. Exactly, Jason. Nagahabo lang Air Trav. Okay, na foul sila with two free throws. Hindi tatakbong oras. They could score. That's good uh, uh, opportunity for air travel. And not only that, coach, as you mentioned earlier, what's crucial for them now in this late ball game is that they convert on these free throws. Ayan si Doc showing off that stroke. He's been getting the short jumper to go and now from the free throw line. Exactly. Edwin Yap, again, good soft touch. But misses that second free throw, but they Pero get it offensive back. Offensive rebound. Oh, ganda ng tukot na yun, Jason, from Dr. Edwin Yap. Four-point lead. Puts the car in reverse and parks it for the basket. Four-point lead na lang. One minute, 40 left to go. This is a crucial possession for go up and up. Alan Tan continuing to be aggressive, but he stopped there. Two-man game from the bigs. Alan Tan showing his range from outside. Shot clock goes off. And it's a foul called. Air Trav can cut it back to a one possession lead. Let's see the replay here. Doc going to the reverse for the bounty fresh move of the game. Looking like Dr. J on that reverse. Exactly. The doctor operating underneath. That's Edwin Yap. Edwin Yap definitely has been key late in this game. And now two more free throws will be awarded to Air Trav. And they can cut it down to a one possession game here. Nako, pero crucial free throw shooting. That first one is missed there. Mm -hmm. Chip chop. Chip chop dong, as they would want to call Edward here. 
Pero he makes the second one count. Three-point game na lang. Yeah. Can Airtrav complete their comeback here in the fourth quarter? Maganda yan, Jason. It's just a one-possession ball game. And what a defensive play there by Pex to steal the ball. They have to cross the line now. Ganda ng mga defense ni Andrew Ko, no? ni Pex dito sa ball game na to. Several times they have picked that uh, ball. And Dexter Kwan loses the man on that pass, cutting the lead down to one point. Less than a minute left in this game. Ron Lim sets the table. Can he get the go up and up offense going here? They have to move the ball. Walang screens na nangyayari. Everyone is like trying to get the ball by themselves. And the aggressive man-to-man -man defense really affecting go up and up. But a foul is called and that's crucial. Ito na. Matetest ng nerves. Dito again, walang screen eh, no? Everyone just wants to get open. And a holding foul there from Edo. A little too aggressive to prevent that attack inside. And it looks like the foul, the foul play pays off so far. Mm -hmm. As Brian misses his first free throw. The pressure mounting for him here in this third place game. Can he extend the lead? No! Wala. One point game! 40 seconds on the clock. Clock is running. Two for one opportunity here for Airtrav. Can they get a bucket? Both teams are in penalty, Jason. That's uh, one thing that we have to note, but... A what steal. a steal there! Fast break opportunity. Ron Lim draws the foul. Jason Saw goes down. That was a very crucial possession. Good defensive effort by go up and up. And again, coming to you, Jason. Crucial free throws. And there will be 24.1 left on the clock. Let's see what happened on that last play. Brian Kalantok coming away with a crucial steal there, making up for his two missed free throws. And Ron Lim, nerves of steel, converting on that first free throw. The leader that he is, Ron Lim, hitting those free throws. Siyempre, very important yan. And it just rims out there, 24 seconds in the game. The last possession could be with Air Trav here. They can tie or take the lead. Mm -hmm. Remember, penalty situation here. If they draw the foul, they can get two free throws. The man goes down. It's with the captain to tie the game. And he draws the foul with 3.3 left in the ball game. I like what Dexter Kwan did. Talagang pinuntahan niya yung bola. Hinihingi niya yung bola in that time. He recognizes his advantage the height, takes that shot, fishing for the foul. Two, cru two crucial free throw coming up. And it's winning time here, and the captain is at the line, putting the fate of his team in his hands. Timeout scenario, we have one for air trap and two for go up and up. And the captain leaving everything on the floor. He's exhausted out there, but he converted on the first free throw. Dexter Kwan. This is for the tie. Mintis, he gets the offensive rebound. He has to put it up. Possible game winner. <laughs> and the rebound is with Ron Lim. They hold on 72 to 71. The Browns goes to go up and up. Yes, Your yes. final score, 72 to 71. Again, the offensive rebounding of Air Trap Jason. Hanggang sa huli, nakuha pa nila offensive rebound. That was crucial for them. But this is a good ball game that a good run for, for Air Trav as well as they prepare for the uh, more important tournament that will be coming up, the 48 above Pyonglian tournament. But today, the victory for bronze will stay with Go Up and Up. 72-71 to 71 is our final score for the Grace Alumni Basketball League. Brought to you by Bounty Fresh, the second runner-up right there. Their team photo is flashed. It is Go Up and Up winning this one by one point. What a performance there to stave off the run from air travel. An excellent show of composure. Alan Tan and Brian st staving off that run from air travel and holding on for this third place victory to end their season with a victory. Yes, I'd like to commend, of course, the effort of air travel. Yung pagpalit nila sa defensive nila from zone to man to man and then, and then stopping the fast break play of go up and up. But the advantage having Alan Tan and Brian Kalantok on the other side.
proves dividends for go up and up. And let's not forget that crucial rebound from Ron Lim, who was so good in that fourth quarter for go up and up. As we see the highlights here, see Alan Tan hyper aggressive on those possessions. And the player of the game award goes to him for his aggression in this game. He was dominant, looking to score, finding those buckets, being aggressive on the board, finding the hoop plus the hard, converting inside. Alan Tan earns the player of the game for the bronze medal match here in the Grace Alumni Basketball League, presented to you by Bounty Fresh. And stay tuned as we will be back for the championship game later. Final score 72 to 71. This has been Jason Ameda on the call, joined by Coach Edster, and we'll be back for the championship game. <laughs>